be. How is your process regarding recruiting in the offseason? You know, I know a lot of people have been seeing the anticipation with the recruiting class that you guys have been able to bring in with Maker Maker and then um, Noah Eastern. And I just wanted to ask, how do you guys go about um, recruiting these guys to build your roster? Yeah, that, that's a good question. And it, it's a lot of it has to do with being at Howard University as the men's basketball coach there. Um, you know, we have something to offer that is pretty unique and special. Um, you know, we as black men and we as black people stand on the shoulders of giants. Uh, we have a black female that just got, uh, you know, uh, an opportunity to be uh, potentially our, our vice president of the United States who's an alum, uh, Senator Harris, uh, Thurgood Marshall, uh, the first uh, black Supreme Court Justice, Andrew Young, the first black ambassador, um, Dr. Charles Drew, who did some incredible things medically uh, through his plasma research, um, you know, Douglas Wilder, uh, the first black governor of Virginia, you know, David Dinkins, the first black mayor of New York City. You can go down the list of these things, even the first black female to cast a, uh, a vote in a major election. Uh, is a Howard grad. So to be able to tell that story um, where there's so much history, so much tradition, and I didn't even start to talk about, you know, Taraji P or Lala Anthony or Puffy or, you know, Chadwick Boseman or Tanashi Coates, one of my favorite writers right now and thought leaders in the country, Toni Morrison, you know, I, I haven't even, so Zora Neale Harrison, all of these wonderful names and wonderful stories and people that have gone to Howard, we certainly stand on the shoulders of them. So to be able to take that history and tradition and connect it to a basketball presentation is really powerful for our program. Definitely, definitely. Coach, saying that someone's your favorite writer, um, my guess is that you're a voracious reader or read when you can. What book if you have to think back over, let's say the last 10, 15 years, what book have you gifted or recommended the most? Uh, for me, the book has been Outlier um, mm -hmm. by Malcolm Gladwell. Okay. And it's a book that I try to read at least once a year. Um, yeah. And the reason why I've, uh, being a mid-major coach, um, you know, you're always trying to find that outlier of a guy that can be a difference maker or uh, somebody almost like a unicorn at your university. Um, and, you know, we were talking offline about, you know, one of our mutual friends, J.R. Bremer, uh, who I had the, the pleasure of working with at St. Bonaventure. He was an outlier. Um, he was somebody that put in his 10,000 hours uh, that Malcolm Gladwell talks about working on his craft in the game. And, uh, you know, JR had a, a wonderful career playing, I think, four years in the NBA and then playing probably another 10 years or so over in Europe at the highest level. Um, working at Harvard University and uh, having a chance to mentor and coach Jeremy Lin, um, you know, who was an outlier for real, for real. Yeah. Um, an Asian American, uh, you know, basketball player that didn't have one Division One scholarship uh, that goes on to how Harvard University uh, becomes one of the best players in, in, in that league's history. And then for, you know, two or three months became the biggest athlete in the world. Um, you know, played nine or 10 years in the NBA uh, and has still continuing his, his career over in China. Working with somebody like Rasul Butler uh, at LaSalle, I recruited Rasul. So the outlier for me has been one of those books of understanding how to take I think good talent and, and, and working with those young men make help them become great. Um, so that book is something that I would gift or recommend highly. Right. 